Will you join me in looking at the exact products I use for my green screen filming setup? Just the basics of the camera, the screen, the lighting, because these have taken me years to get right. And I hope to save you a lot of the time, energy, and money I've spent trying to get a green screen setup that looks professional. I've got all of the equipment, software, and online services I use listed at jerrybanfield.com slash resources. When you want to research these further and buy them, will you please go to jerrybanfield.com slash resources because you'll see links to everything there, not just my green screen setup, but everything. And you will feel good helping me whenever you buy something and there's an affiliate link attached to it because you pay the same price either way and when you use the links on this page you'll help me earn a percentage of the sale as a thank you from the company you're purchasing from to me for telling them about your product now I tell you about this because this has been really hard for me to get all of the lighting right all of the the camera get everything right so I hope this makes it easier for you first the light bulbs the light bulbs for a green screen and one of those sneaky things you don't think are a big deal this after testing a bunch of different light bulbs these are the best that I've found for my particular skin tone now what I share with you may not work is the exact same but it should it should work pretty close these are the exact light bulbs GE lighting 67770 reveal 43 watt you can see they're eight dollars and fifty cents for a four pack I have six of these lighting my green screen now this is the exact green screen I have now I think there's a lot of flexibility on this one that said the green screen determines the exact color green and the lighting determines the exact color green the chroma key needs to take out along with any ambient light in the room now if you just black the room out like I do you don't have to worry about any ambient lighting the exact chroma key and the exact lighting makes for the exact color you pick out which determines how the green screen looks so this is the exact one I use square perfect 4037 professional quality blah 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 green screen mousseline backdrop I do not use any stand with it I have it hung up on a steel cable that way the stand can't be knocked over because yes I had it on stand used to get knocked over by my dogs they come in knock my whole green screen over I've set it back up it wouldn't look right you got it right here this exact green screen I use now this camera is a very important part of this the camera we use makes a huge difference the green screen chroma key looking exactly correct is a function of the camera of the backdrop of the lighting and of the person in it you need to get all of these exactly right for it to look good the Logitech 930C or C930E this one works a lot better for me than the 920 that I was using for most of the time the last thing I changed in the equation was the camera the first thing I should have changed was the camera the camera makes a huge difference in how the green screen comes out in my 920C the exact same green screen did not look good in the chroma key with the 930 it looks so good this is a little more expensive I think that and it's well worth it this camera is the one I'm on now it works way better it's nice and small you don't need to buy a big expensive camera this not this C 930 e works really good this is the one I'm using for this video right now finally the round paper lanterns thanks to Phil Ebener this was a little trick I found to use these paper lanterns instead of using I've bought several photography setups and films oh these paper lanterns for $13 plus the light bulbs for $8.50 plus this curtain and then plus this camera it's just around $100 and it makes a beautiful looking setup when the lights are positioned properly and the correct colors picked on the chroma key I mean it's ridiculous how all of these things work together the paper lanterns help out a lot because the paper lanterns take the edge off 
of the light. When you when you get the paper lanterns, it makes it so the light's not directly shining in your face, unprotected from the light bulb, which that's how I used to do it for a while. The paper lanterns are really cheap. They're kind of annoying to hang up properly to get them just right. And then if you bump into one of them, one of my videos, I jumped and knocked the paper lantern and caught it. And now the light shines on my head a bit. It's a little opposition. So the exact positioning of the paper lanterns can take some work. It took me several tries to position them, get them in the studio in a way that looks nice and then helps my skin to not look so white and pale and ghosted out. There you go. This is the exact equipment that I use for my green screen. I Googled and Googled and Googled and Googled and looked and looked and bought stuff for two years to get this information. I hope... This makes it way easier for you. This camera, Logitech C930E, this green screen, the reveal light bulbs. Bam, you've got the whole setup there. If you found this helpful and you plan on buying something, will you please go to jerrybanfield.com slash resources to make the purchase through my links because I will get, uh, if you go to Amazon, I'll get a small percentage of the sale, like 2%. I'll make like five, 10 cents or something if you buy the light bulbs. I might make a, a dollar, a few dollars if you buy the webcam. I think you'll feel good about that. Like, you know what? I took this extra 10 seconds to help Jerry out to earn a little bit so he can keep having his business online. There, I feel good doing stuff like that. So there you go. I love you, you're awesome. Thank you for learning about exactly what I use to do my green screen, the lights, the backdrop, the camera, and the covers for the lights, so to speak.